Let's go. It is March the 31st, 2018. I've been all over the place with my videos lately as far as like when I'm posting, what I'm posting, the topics I'm posting, anything from sports to <laughs> religion to just whatever. And um and that's probably going to be how it's going to be for a while. Like I'm just going to be honest with you, like it's probably going to be like that. Like there are going to be times where I'm going to talk sports, there are going to be times when I'm talking spirituality, like this is going to be how it is, is cuz that's kind of how I am. Um one of the things that I've really wanted to do really ever since I made this channel was to really kind of just make a video and talk about who I am and really what led me, what really got me where I started this channel, um, where I really turned my faith over to God and, and that whole process, um, what led me to going to church, being baptized, all of those things, I really would like to share that. And for a long time, I felt like I wasn't able to. Like, I just couldn't put the words together. And it was going to be really tough for me to do it without going into detail, you know, with other people in my life that maybe that's not really where I want to go with that, especially on my YouTube channel. Um, because this is just, this is about me. And although, yes, other people have played factors in, you know, where I'm at, um, this whole process is about me taking responsibility for my actions. And so when I tell my story, it's, you know what I mean? It's kind of just me and, and where I'm at, where I came from and what led me to where I'm at. Um, and that honestly, that I'm still a work in progress, to be honest with you, I'm still battling, I'm still grinding. Um, it's not an easy process. It really isn't. Um, I've, you know, I've heard people reference and I've talked about it myself where I really feel like when when you give yourself over to God, when you really put yourself out there like that, that it there are some challenges that get thrown your way. It's almost like the enemy just doesn't like, it doesn't want it to happen. I don't really know any other way to put it other than that. But it's you know, when when you start putting your focus where you want to put it, right? Where God wants you to put it. Man, it's there's there's a lot of things that start getting thrown your way. I mean, hailstorms like crazy. It's just man, it's it's almost like a claymore. Like if anybody knows what a claymore is, I know my son knows what a claymore is from Call of Duty, but but if you're military or anybody that just knows what a claymore is, it's an explosive device that just shoots stuff off like I don't even know what shoots out of a claymore, to be honest with you. I know that's probably bad, but um, considering I was in the Air Force. But then again, there's a lot of people out there that would say that's because you were in the Air Force. Um, but they just kind of shoot like rounds off like in all these different directions, you know, and um, and it just can wipe things out. And sometimes it feels like just a claymore attack is just on sometimes and I get hit from all different directions um, you know, whether it's at home or at work or financially or just, you know, my car breaking down or, you know, just whatever, like just from every direction, you know, I face these challenges and it can be very frustrating. And I know I'm starting to ramble here and that's a problem that I have. And there's another thing that I want to work on with this channel is really not necessarily scripting out what I want to talk about, but just kind of having a plan of attack on what I want to actually get into. Um, but sharing my story to get back into that um, is something that I really want to do. And I thought for a long time I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, but recently I wrote a letter. Um, it was an email that I sent over to my church because they asked me to share my story with them. And I wrote this long email. They were going to do a video, record my story, and have it set up uh, for the baptism that they're going to be having coming up on April the 15th. And so I wrote this long email and once I wrote it, I was able to say, you know, all right, like I can write this, I can talk about this without really bringing anybody else into this. Like where it, it, this is my story, this is where I'm I'm coming from and this is how I, I got to where I am and guess what? I'm still a work in progress. I'm still battling, I'm still fighting. I'm not perfect, I make plenty of mistakes, I make errors in judgment. And the enemy is constantly, constantly coming at me. Um, I think 
some people may think that, you know, once you become a Christian, right, that, that, uh, that's it, you know what I mean, everything is good at that point, you know, um, man, it, it, if I'm gonna be real, it, it gets pretty tough, it really does, and, and my personal experience, I feel like it gets pretty tough, now, I think where the difference comes in is that I've got this, like, unwavering faith, I've got this faith, this belief that, like, ultimately, everything's gonna be all right, that I'm going to battle these storms, I'm going to weather them, I'm going to get through them, and everything will be all right. But it doesn't mean that it's easy. At the time, it is not easy. You know, when you tell uh, when you tell me that, that the job I've been going for and working for and trying for and promised that all of a sudden it's no longer available, at that moment, it is not easy. It's not easy. But then three, four weeks later, when a better position becomes available... I apply for it, I get interviewed for it, and I actually get that position. Then I start to realize, all right, the other one just wasn't meant to be. I got to be a little bit patient here. And it's not always easy to see those things when they're happening. You know, it's, it's, I, I may not ever fully understand why I've gone a year without having my car. Part of it is because I'm a procrastinator. Part of it is because I was just frustrated and I didn't want to put the money into it. And I've still got to make that decision now as far as what I'm going to do. But but I may not ever really fully understand it. But for whatever reason, I had to go through it. And um, it is what it is. So I do plan on sharing that story. Um, and really kind of just expressing where I came from. You know, and the amount of time that I talked about how I want to express this story. I probably could have expressed this story. Um but i really want to i really want to make sure that that i verbalize that and say it you know with one being completely authentic and and being real about it and two um just making sure that um i don't know just making sure that that i present myself the right way it's it's completely authentic you know what i mean like clear you know what i mean like see through um, because, because it's important to me. Um, now my church, they actually ended up deciding that they weren't going to use it now. They're going to do it at a later time. Um, the right now, I mean, we're already getting ready to come up on April 1st and I think they procrastinated a bit too. And with Easter and just everything going on and then you got April 15th right around the corner, it was going to be tough to really get all this together. And my story is not a short one. Um, so we'll see. They they asked me if I would share it at a later time when they can really put something together. And I'm fine with that. Again, this is one of those situations where at the time, it's hard for me to really say, oh, this is good. But I know that in the end, that it was better that we did it this way, that, that rushing this wasn't going to be the right, the right way to go about it. So that's just kind of how I have to look at things now. And I think that's the biggest difference is that, yes, there's going to be challenges. Yes, I'm going to face them. But but understanding that sometimes I just need to trust the process. You know what I'm saying? So that's about all I got. Um, I know this was basically just me kind of babbling here for a little while. And if you watch this, obviously, I'm very appreciative of that. And uh, that's about all I got. So I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm always going to trust the process, and I will talk to you all later. I am out.